Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. And, um... We, you know, if you watch this show on a regular basis, you know that we like to talk about the latest things that happen in the day on that show that night. Last night, we could not. Because right after the show was finished, right, as soon as it ended, it was revealed that special counsel Robert Mueller is investigating Donald Trump for obstruction of justice. <laughs> Again, is that thunder? I just... Uh, looks like Trump's gonna need to change that hat. Make justice obstructed again. <laughs> this is a huge moment. This Me. is a historic Me. moment. The president of the United States is presently under criminal investigation. When the movie comes out, this will definitely be in it. <laughs> and I will definitely be played by Hugh Jackman. <laughs> I'll still have the claw. <laughs> Can't grow a beard, though. Of course, Mueller is investigating whether Trump pressured uh, Jim Comey and the heads of other intelligence agencies to back off the Russia probe. But who knows why he really fired Comey? When I decided to just do it, I said to myself, I said, you know, this Russia thing with Trump and Russia is a made-up story. Then I said to myself, make sure you don't say that on TV. <laughs> oh, there's a cam that's a camera? That's a, that's a camera. That's a camera. These are all cameras. And I'm on TV, and I just said it. Okay. And Mueller is not kidding around here. To find out what happened, he has put together what's been described as an all-star legal team. Yeah, Mueller's like Batman. <laughs> putting together the Flash, Green Lantern, and Wonder Woman to create the Obstruction of Justice League. <laughs> I'd watch that movie. That's a good movie. That'll be a good movie. I would watch that movie. Now, critics complain that uh, Mueller has, in fact, hired three people for his legal team who have given political donations almost exclusively to Democrats. They're criticizing Mueller for saying that he has hired three lawyers that have made donations to Democrats and that Mueller should only be hiring people with no political connections. As one Trump supporter put it, he has to have a staff of virgins. <laughs> Yes, yes. Staff of virgins. A staff of virgins. Which is what Trump originally wanted and how he ended up with Reince Priebus. Earlier this... Why not? Fresh face boy. Earlier this week, a personal friend says Trump considered firing Mueller and Trump could do it. He'd just have to order Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein to fire Mueller. And if Mr. Rosenstein refused, Mr. Trump could fire him too. Of course, that would be almost exactly what Nixon did in Watergate's Saturday Night Massacre. So, in a way, very presidential. <laughs> so, why did Trump float this firing idea through his friend? Well, word is, Trump thought that the possibility of being fired would focus Mueller on delivering what the president desires most, a blanket public exoneration. And now, instead, he's under investigation for obstruction. I guess that threat of firing... <laughs> ...backfired. <laughs> So Trump just ended up hurting himself with what one White House insider called this cockamamie scheme to get Mueller to play ball. Now, we don't know who at the White House said that, but I will point out that cockamamie is Mike Pence's dirtiest swear word. <laughs> and, and, when asked how the White House was gonna handle this, what their strategy was, one senior official replied, keep him away from Twitter, dear God. <laughs> Keep him away from Twitter. <laughs> I can understand that. I can understand Get that. that, that but. Get him off. Get him off. Please. 
come on. He is a grown man, and I am sure they made up a phony collusion <laughs> with the Russian story, found zero proof, so now they go for obstruction of justice on the phony story. Nice. <laughs> no. You can't ruin the word nice for us, too. You've already ruined sad, wall, and kofefe. No. <laughs> no. No one will ever name their child Kofefe now. <laughs> Trump also tweeted, You are witnessing the single greatest witch hunt in American political history, led by some very bad and conflicted people. Hashtag MAGA. <laughs> yes, yes. It's just like the Salem witch trials. When those young women were accused of witchcraft and then said, We did witchcraft in an interview with Lester Holt. <laughs> and... Last night. Last night. Lester Holt fans. Lester Holt. I love Lester Holt. And last night, someone leaked the RNC's talking points on the Mueller investigation. Turns out the GOP party line is to claim Mueller struck out on trying to prove collusion and is trying to save face. No! Getting investigated for a second crime doesn't automatically mean you didn't commit the first crime. <laughs> Your Honor, you're telling me that I'm going to jail for assault and battery? Mm -mm. Pretty sure battery cancels out the assault. I will see you. Hand your, get your hands off me, sir! Speaking of Russia, yesterday, the Senate overwhelmingly voted to impose new sanctions on Russia over election meddling, 97 to 2. So who voted against it? Well, as usual, it was Wyoming Senators Boris and Natasha. <laughs> they blame... <laughs> those two, very staunch, very ooh, staunch ooh, supporters ooh. of the president. Ooh. They blame uh, hacking the DNC on Musan Square. <laughs> now, uh, Trump has been reluctant, even when he was campaigning for president, mm -hmm. not just as president, but right. when he was running for president, he was reluctant to say anything bad about Putin or Russia. Mm. He's even mentioned easing sanctions, but this bill allows Congress to block any efforts by the president to scale back sanctions against Russia. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now... Now, that looks like Congress thinks something fishy is going on between Trump and Russia. 